and welcome back to STL Live. And my first guest is Vice President of Outreach for Better Family Life Incorporated, Mr. James Clark. Hello, James. How are Hello, you? Hello, Robin. Great. This has been a very busy day today. Uh, it's an election day that everybody has gotten together. Tell us some, just some brief information about Better Family Life, Inc., and some of the services that you provide. Uh, Better Family Life, we're a nonprofit uh, community development organization founded in 1983 uh, by Malik and Deborah Ahmed out of the need to find internal solutions uh, to the crisis that uh, plagues the African American community and the community at large. We believe that the family is the single most important unit that makes up society. So at Better Family Life, through our outreach, our housing, our youth and family services, our workforce development, and our cultural departments, we infuse a very strong message of family responsibility mm -hmm. as we try to move people into a more active role in their life, their family's life, and in the life of their community. Now, you, you are part of the outreach uh, end of Better Family Life. Tell us uh, briefly about, you've created several different programs yes. that are part of that out, outreach. Tell us a little bit about those. Well, our, our flagship is the Neighborhood Alliance model. And it, through the Neighborhood Alliance model, we get surgical. We focus on very strict, within very strict boundaries, a very strong handprint where we literally go door to door. Mm -hmm. um, I employ eight outreach specialists uh, trained in outreach and also, and also trained in conflict mediation. And they go door to door. We do family and household assessments where we want to know what are the social service needs of everyone living in the home. We then have the St. Louis Resource, Resource Council. Mm -hmm. That's a body of 82 social service organizations that we then are able to refer each member of the home to for the services that they need. We have everyone from AARP to SEEDS that we can make mm -hmm. referrals to. Then we do neighborhood-based case management where we manage the families in the neighborhood. So through our outreach workers and through our case managers, we're able to begin to weave a strong web that works to pull the family unit together and then we begin to pull the neighborhoods together. And that takes a lot of work and, of course, uh, funding that you would need to, of course, bring more people on. It sounds like yeah. you need more workers to come on board. Now, how do you hope the next mayor, whomever that would be, will address the issues that you and Better Family Life are working on and trying to resolve? How do you hope that that next well, we, that person we, who we wins think tonight? That, that the next mayor needs to understand the importance of focusing on neighborhoods. Uh, St. Louis, we are, we are pursuing a lot of big ticket items. Um, uh, trolleys, expansions downtown, and other big ticket items, but we are neglecting the human capital in our more challenged neighborhoods. So we believe that it's time for St. Louis to begin to shift the paradigm and focus on our more challenged neighborhoods. That's going to be critically important because we believe that those brick and mortar projects mm -hmm or in jeopardy as long as we have human capital voids in our more challenged neighborhoods. We've got a lot of candidates in the race. Um, have you seen any of those candidates at all? Uh, you, you don't have to say specifically who you have mm -hmm. or have not, but have you seen any of the candidates at all specifically hitting the needs that you and your organization know are needed in the neighborhoods? Yeah, well, all of them have, all of them have their strong suits. Uh, but when you look at a man like Lewis Reed, who, who has been in a leadership role now for a number of years. Uh, then you have Antonio French, who's young and upcoming. Uh, Jeffrey Boyd, who has a strong military background. Uh, then Tashara Jones. So, so we, have, we have a lot of strong candidates. Mm -hmm. But I think that the mayor is also going to have to be able to articulate to St. Louis that it's gut check time. He's got to be able to communicate to the African-American community that we must own our problems, that we must own a high dropout rate. We must own neighborhood crime. So that we hasn't happened. That hasn't happened, hasn't in happened. your opinion, ha with happened. past administrations, the yes. ownership of the problems in St. Louis. We've got to place the ownership on the issues facing the African-American community solely at the feet of the African-American community. Then we have to he has to be able to articulate, he or she has to articulate to the white community, we must show a little compassion 
So it's going to take someone that can articulate ownership of problems and then compassion because as we are able to deal with those pressing issues, mm -hmm. the human capital needs, then St. Louis, we will be able to regain our status firmly as a first class city. Mm -hmm. Right now we're teetering and we're going to have to get very, very, very serious. So the, the next mayor is going to have a large, uh, um, is going to have a large challenge. Sure. Bridging the and racial gap, not just through narrative, but through challenges. And making sure that those things are moving forward with reference to neighborhoods. I want to thank you so much oh, thank for you. coming in our studios this thank evening. Thank you, Robin. Um, thank you so much for making sure that things are happening correctly in the St. Louis community. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. We will have more from James Clark as we come back from this. <laughs>